Hi guys, welcome back again on another video here, Alan Moore, uh, Fragrance Reviews. On today's video, I'm going to show you six fragrances such as this one here. Right, and all these fragrances I'm going to show you today pack a punch in their own way and their own style. And I'll explain to you in the, in the video. So if you want to see six fragrances, they pack a punch. Right, if you're interested in things like that, stick around after the intro and I'll show you what I've got lined up for you. Cheers guys, thanks a lot. Hi guys, welcome back. Uh, on this video guys, we're going to be just discussing six fragrances that pack a punch. Okay, guys, this one is to replace the original Acrida Geo when it came along. And it's got a bit more staying power, it lasts a bit longer, and it just packed more of a punch than the original one does. Because of the longevity issues it's got with it, it's better. Now, all the other, although the other ones sell millions of bottles, it's one of the best ones ever released. This is also developing a good name in the fragrance community. A lot of people love this fragrance. And not is it just a, a good fragrance for, you know, summertime, winter, any time really. It's a good all-rounder, right? But uh, in my opinion, imagine going and having a nice haircut and you come out. And years ago, they used to offer you uh, like a bit of aftershave to splash you on your bit of like a masculinity. Masculinity is like a lot of masculine fragrances they used to put on you when you came out the barbers. It reminds me of something like that. It's got a nice that feel about it. Very classy feel. Right, now in this one, in the top now, you've got seed house bergamot. So that gives it its freshness. Right, then you've got raspberry sage and geranium. That's got the floral side of it. And the herbaceous side from the raspberry. And then you've also got incense, patchouli. This clusters aromatic, aquatic. That's what this fragrance is uh, known as. And as I say, let's look at the bottom bite, guys. It's funny if you see me really broken, guys. I've heard my me, me shoulder look wacky. Really sore. I'm just trying to get through the video the best I can. Okay, so that's the first one I was going to show you. This is a really great purchase. I'll leave all the, the notes and the description where to buy these fragrances from in the description box, guys. So check it out at your leisure and you might be getting a good deal on this kind of fragrance. Okay, that's the first one. Moving on to the second one now. Is this one, this bad boy here. Now, this is Bulgari Man in Black. Again, if you've been watching videos for a long time in the fragrance community, this is a well-known fragrance now. And although I've never tried Spice Bomb, uh, at the time Spice Pond came out and I was collecting fragrance, I mean I'm 59 years old now and there's some fragrance I don't really want to start wearing because it looks like they're a bit too youthful for me but this one is like a more grown up version of what I've heard off of the YouTube referring to and I would agree with you as far as I'm concerned this is a grown up fragrance can't speak about the Spice Pond but I can about this and I love this fragrance it's got a, a fantastic smell you can wear this dressed up or casually, it's really that good. It's got a nice unique atomizer look there, nice the grip on the top. You click that into place, then you depress the atomizer, it gives you a nice square to the juice out the bottle. Now, the first thing I'll get with this, right, is like imagine you get like a pencil and you sharpen a pencil, you get the shavings from the wood pencil. That's what it smells like to me. But then you can smell leather in it, and it's got like a booze out in there as well. So, if that's your cup of tea and you like things like this, this would be a really good purchase for you. It's got staying power, it smells nice, you know, and it does push a punch above its weight. So, I would recommend this fragrance for you. It is really good. When this first came out, they had the one in the silver bottle that came out before all these did. And this one, to me, in my opinion, what I've heard again, I've never tried that, but what I've heard this one, again, is a lot stronger than that. First, previous ones that came out, there was good fragrances, but I think this took the limelight when it came out. So, again, this does punch above its weight. 
and it's you know holding its own when you cause a few of the fragrance in this kind of category so if you like that this would be a good addition to your your fragrance collection and there's all your stuff on the bottom guys just in case you need to find out where that is now in this one in the top now you've got warm spicy you've got rum and tobacco in in the mid you've got leather you've got tuberose and oils and in the base you've got tonka beans goyak wood benzene it's classed as an amber floral now i can't really speak with got the floral because i can't unless tuberose is like a floor yeah and the iris yeah i can work out what that is now yeah the iris and definitely got that like floral mouth in it you know i mean but I would say it came across as too, too much of a floral fragrance from my point of view. I, I don't think it does. I can smell the wood, the leather, and the booze more so than anything with this fragrance. So, again, I love this fragrance. It's another one of my fragrances I do enjoy wearing. So, I consider wearing this one, guys. That's my second choice. Then, the third choice is this one. Again, another top brand name, John Paul Gautier. This is the Lamal Le Parfum, the black bottle with the gold top. Bring Paul there, look, guys. Most people have seen these by now. Spare some juice out, nice. And it's got a, I love their fragrance. They've got something about it, and the smell. It's fantastic in the air. You know, you imagine this on your skin, and I have all this, and it does smell really nice. But I do prefer the Ultramail, to be honest. This is my second favourite. Favourite's the Ultramail. I like the Lebel, and I've also got the original Lebel, but not the original, the modern version of it. I like all of them. But the Ultramal for me is the best one. But this one is really good as well. If you like uh, a nice sweet fragrance, done in a good way. Again, this is the original one that came out was a great success. But the other one I've got, which is the newer version of this, this one outperforms it. So this is why I said it punches above its weight. It's because the modern day version and the equivalent of the original amount, which is, this is kind of based on, more like a more grown up version of that. This punches your waist above the the one that you can buy now. So that's why this is in this list. It's a great fragrance. You wear this. I would suggest though, if you're gonna wear this, wear this on you know a nice date night if you're going out somewhere you want to intend to get close to somebody. Because it's not a massive projector, you know, and it's not gonna drive somebody away from you because it's too strong. It's inviting people in. As you start settling down on your skin. So this is another good video uh, fragrance for this video. For that purpose, this just punch above its weight. But it's not going to offend anybody who's trying to get close to you because you want to date with somebody. So consider this one as well. A nice little ring pull there to stop your waist in your fragrance by accident. That's my third choice. Okay, now moving on to this. Now this one has got to be one of my favourites. I know I keep saying this, but they haven't that good. No, I love more fragrances, but some I love more than others, and this is one of them. Valentino Umo Intense. <laughs> I love this. It's fantastic. And I, I would recommend anybody who's seen this about collecting fragrances, you always have this in your collection. It's really that good. I love it. It's my bedroom now, I'm filled with this. It smells fantastic. You know, all these fragrances I've spelt, this one's just knocked them all out of the ballpark. You know, it's really one of my favourites. I love wearing this. And it's got a leather out in it, it's got that Irish smell, like a makeup smell. But at first, I've got to be honest, when I first started wearing this, I was a kind of guy, anything like that, I'd have run a mile away from because it wasn't me as a person, like anything like came across a bit too feminine, unisex fragrance, or I would never touch her because I like wearing fragrance in there, me opinion him changing. I love this, I love wearing it, I, I can't, you know, wait to get somewhere nice and put it on. It's really that good, guys. And this one is the old one. I see this cap here, look. It's different to the one you can buy today. The one you can buy today, which is still good from what I've heard. You've got like a spike collar around here. And this old one, this cap fits out the top to stop you spraying your atomizer by accident again. But think about getting this, guys. You know, one day they might discontinue this. You'll be without it. I've got to get me another bottle of this because I don't want to run out of it. It's that good. Okay, think of that one. Now, this is the only one I've got on my list today that's based on a clown of a fragrance, right? And this is 
who 24 by El Zafaran. And I brought my attention to this through Barry from the channel Centralize. Hi, Barry. Thanks for all your help the last few weeks. You're a true gent. Um, check his channel out. Uh, he's a lovely guy, uh, Barry from Centralize. He's got a lot of knowledge. And he will give you some first class advice when buying your fragrances. So check his channel out, please. He's a great guy. Okay, but back to this one now. This is based on Tom Ford's Black Orchid. And I had the idea this because Barry was at a local market where we both live close by to. And he was fucking up off one of the stores there and reviewed it on his, his channel. The following week, I went out because I'd been in search of this. I'd seen this on another channel as well. But it was Barry who really brought it to my attention because we both live close to where we could purchase it from. So I went out the following week and I bought this bottle and never smelt Tom Ford Black Oak. He wasn't sure what to expect. So sprayed it. And already you think, wow, that's powerful that is. You know, it's got a powerful smell. Sweet, chocolatey, different stuff that's in it. You think, wow, I love that. That's a really nice fragrance. But at the time when I bought it, I'd never tried the original, so I couldn't really compare it. And so I thought, I couldn't thought, well, you know, now I don't know if it's any good. But for the price I paid for this, I had this and a little like atomizer of the same fragrance for £15 off the market. And it's an original, it is an original Middle Eastern fragrance. But I also tried a, a, a spray from the original bottle from a friend at work on my hand a few months back and I smelt it and this does smell very much like it. I talked to another friend who collected fragrance, we both come to the same conclusion. Uh, this one isn't quite as dark in the, you know, the long term of the fragrance as the original. This is more wearable like um, you can wear in the day not just at night, when you're going out somewhere special. This one you could wear in the day, you could wear it for wear, and you would smell something a lot like something like black orchid. But again, this is the kind of fragrance, you know, I won't wear it, I eat, because it has got that sweetness about it, and it is a bit potent, and I think if you put that on and it was too warm, like in our, really part of the hot summer that we have, I think it would choke it out. So I won't get wearing this. Save it for the winter times and wear this. It will feel, smell great on you. So think of this one. This is another cheapie. If you can get to Beskett Market in the Midlands on the Sunday, and there's a couple of young Asian lads on there who are selling it. Right, I've got different bottles there from the Middle East. That, you know, and might not be there every week because you that to bring it when I can get the stuff. But they do do all these different frames. That's where I found this one from. So again, I'd like to say thanks to Barry for recommending that fragrance because it's been a good addition to my collection so far. Okay, so cheers. Okay, so moving on to the last one now. Now, this one is one of my favourite barbershop fragrances I own. Right, and it's not, but it's a flanker to the original. It's not the original. It's, I think it's better than the original. Yeah, this is all out. Or I'm intense. It smells great. Yeah. yeah, it's got a little bit barbershoppy smell about it. This has. You can put this on your, you know. I like wearing this as soft as it sounds. If I am going to get my hair cut, do you know what I mean? Because you put it in the mood, you know, you have a nice haircut, you smell it, you come out yourself. Because they don't always give the aftershave these days. They'll put hair gel in your hair and stuff, but it's not the same as this. So I do like to wear a barbershop phrase on the day I'm having my hair cut. You know, just hear that feel when you come out. And so I do like this phrase. It's from Azaro. Azaro, poor on intense. You can still get this bottle. A nice lid that clicks on top. And this has got cinnamon in the top. It's got brandy. So if you like brandy, brandy's in there. Ice and vetiver, amber and tonka. And it's an aromatic fougier. Right, so this is another good fragrance. And just... Let me just go back to this one again, guys, because I just want to read the notes off you. I'm sorry about that. I forgot to give you the notes. On this one here, the U24, in the top you've got dark chocolate, mandarin orange and bergamot. 
in the mid you've got fruity notes, spicy notes, ylang ylang, gardenia and jasmine. In the base you've got patchouli, agarwood, oud, uh, sandalwood, incense and amber. This glass is an amber fragrance. So there's one more rec recommendation from this video and I say all these fragrances you punch above the weight and they do pack a punch. So if you like things like this and you do like this kind of uh, wear these kind of fragrances I don't think any of them will lose you down and maybe there's something there you might feel like picking up I'd like to thank everybody for watching the videos and before I uh, finish this video of course I'm this like a new channel starting all over again I'm slowly getting some subscribers and I've had some new British YouTubers subscribe to my channel thank you very much really appreciate that you top guys and for all the other ones who have uh, subscribe to me to date who I've not mentioned thank you very much for that as well you're all top gents as well and ladies so thank you for sticking with me I hope to keep putting these videos out I like to do things in my own way my own style I don't want to try and copy other people and I do like to keep it pretty basic the, if you see the setup I've got now it's nothing like some of these gentlemen I mentioned before them top professionals the way they're doing their videos you can tell the way they're doing the videos but for me it's like an hobby at the moment and I'm just trying to enjoy myself putting these content out based on my experience when the fragrances that I've bought and I am passionate about fragrances and I do like to try to engage with people talking so if you want to leave a comment let's have a chat I'll probably rattle your head off because I'm known for talking a lot but at the same time I like to think yeah we've got a friendly approach and we can get people to engage in conversations and over between both of us we can suggest fragrances to each other and build a little bit of a community on here so if you don't mind please like share the video subscribe all that jazz you know what it's like and i'd appreciate that i'm gonna leave a little bit of b-roll footage for you shortly to have a look at before we finish the video i'll see you on the next video continue to enjoy your weekend and have a nice time if you can go now to do it and if you are going to try some of the beasts, you know, prepare for some compliments, guys. See you later, guys. All the best. Bye. Hi, guys. Here's a quick look at the bottles again before we finish the video. So you get one more chance to have what they look like. A bit more detail there, look. So as I say, all these do pack a punch, guys, in their own right. So they're where the additions to your collection. There's on there, the bad boy Valentina. you got to get that, guys. And the Bulgari. And I say, well, I, do, I do enjoy all these fragrances. I know people might think, oh, let's just say that about everything you review, but we have to be honest. If it was rubbish, then I'd say it wasn't very good. I mean, last week, I did a video last week on poor performance fragrances go and check that out you can enjoy the content of that video and we've got some good conversation going honest views from other you know Barry was on there and guy with Matt and Pocket Centre was on there Guinea's honest a bit Guinea's expert advice because of him being a pair of viewers which was welcomed by myself because I don't pretend to know everything about perfumery because I'm I'm not an expert, but Matt Wilson from Pocket says, this guy knows his stuff. So he enlightened me about some of the process of why these fragrances don't last quite as long. But nevertheless, sometimes you just don't want to feel like you're being ripped off. That's why the video was put out. So guys, there's enough of the footage for you. Enjoy the rest of your weekend, guys. I uh, say so please like, share and subscribe to this channel please. I'll see you on the next video guys. Cheers guys, have a good one, bye.